I like in the upper right hand corner, MAGA hat boy refuses to apologize <sighs> in an f- infuriating interview. That kid looked drugged and coached. Like he was just probably both. Yeah. They probably put him on some Prozac. Yeah. Get out there, little fella. <laughs> Apparently that Native American guy though, they did an interview with him and it was a disaster because he said a bunch of things that just absolutely weren't true and they're, uh. they're questioning whether or not he actually was in Vietnam. He definitely didn't serve in Vietnam, but he, he wasn't in combat. Right. But you know, he had some some conflicting stories. Okay. Yeah, yeah. I mean none of these people were prepared for this just, kind of attention. You know, it's like I I, I was Offended as as hell by those kids, and I'm a, a fucking big old bleeding heart lefty for sure, and I hate those those fucking hats. But like, I I in the say at the same time, every teenage boy is a fucking idiot. Everyone, you know, and like it, it's. But those boys were standing there doing their school chants while these. Th- there's a long video, and the video is two hours long. I haven't watched it. Yeah. But I've watched segments of it, and in the segments of it, you see those Native American guys walk up to those boys and chant. With, with their drums. So they're all there for different reasons. Yeah. So the boys were there for the March for Life, which is a pro-life march. And right. And they're from a Catholic school. Yeah. And they're wearing their stupid red hats. And then the Native American guy was there for, for a different reason. Yeah. Well, they there were, were, there, there for, were a couple. There was, there was a, it was a, a Native American celebration that's yeah. there yearly. And it, you'd think they'd coordinate these things because there's, right. there's all these different so, uh, sort of marches going on. And that's all. That's our right as citizens. But it's just that... They were all the Lincoln Memorial together. Well, not only that, these boys did not have like a good chaperone. Like these no. boys were wild. They they, yeah. were, they yelled. They said something like, "It's not rape if, if you it, enjoy if it, it." If you enjoy it, yeah. Like, one kid yelled that. And again, by the way, there's 40 kids. If one, if you have yeah. one asshole kid, doesn't mean everybody should be beat up because one of your stupid fucking classmates says something really dumb because he thinks he's funny and Dude, he's 15. I sat in an, in an assembly once where a friend of mine was in like uh, in Chicago, and a friend of mine was doing a play, and they were doing like a scene from the play on stage, and a woman would come on stage, and they would these kids, these boys, I'm behind them, and they're saying the worst shit. I I I can imagine yeah and it's just like jesus christ yeah and it was it's that it's that it's the race to the bottom with yeah. boys where oh, it's yeah. like who can say the worst thing i can right i can yeah. i can yell the n-word you know yeah this thing where shows your tits yeah or, they're or, just trying to make each a lot, other a laugh. lot of and it's because what's the worst thing rape right and so this kid's gonna yell something about rape. Right. it's and right. it's it's uh they're, I, they're children yeah yeah, I do feel they need better supervision. But and they, but here's the thing, they do for sure. But yeah. they shouldn't be judged publicly on a global scale like this. It's sure. not fair. Yeah, I mean, it, I, I I disagree with uh, pretty much everything them and their parents stand for and stuff. But it's their right to demonstrate. You know what I mean? But so, they're not. I mean, they look. They they're too young to know what the fuck they're even demonstrating about sure. to really have a good argument about it mm-hmm. like to bring kids to a pro life demonstration and have them chant and yell their school s- songs and and put on maga hats like the whole thing is so fucked up it's really well we're i mean back to what i said about anxiety it's just we're at each other's fucking throats yeah. and like i mean i have a bit in my act about how like um I, I feel like the internet was built for us to tear each other apart because we're just throwing darts and running away. And and if you put us in a room together and talk it out, we, I think we, I think we would mano a mano and things yeah, like you know because people we, to people, we yeah. all want the same thing yeah. deep down inside. We all want to take care of our kids. We all want to have fun. We all want a bountiful life, you know. But I also say like I'm also like I love people, but I fucking hate people. Like <laughs> so it's like. You know, yeah. it's like if you go through a whole day without speaking to another human being, you ever had one of those days? Yeah. Like, Fuck, that was awesome isolation. That was delicious. It's only if you have too much, though, right? If you get get around people too much, then those gay yeah. days where you just, you could just re- recharge. Yeah. And then you appreciate people when you see them. Yeah. And, it, like, yeah. do you get that where you where you go to, you're on the way to the comedy store and you're like, I don't want to fucking go. Like, I don't want to go up right now. I'm, like, something's messed with me. But it's like that with therapy, comedy sometimes, and the gym sometimes. Where it's like I don't want to fucking go, but every time I'm glad I did. Mm, you know what I mean? Yeah, I know what you're saying. I could yeah. I could have a set where I'd eat shit and I'll drive home laughing, yeah. and I'm just like, well, that didn't work. The you know? thing that bothers me most about this is that they want to dox these kids and put oh, their address I'm, out I'm there. I'm not in favor of that ever. It's just so foolish. Ever. They're treating them like they're rational adults that are, you know, fucking 
50 years old yeah. that really know what they're doing. No, and it's not going to solve anything. It's, you're no. not going to convert these kids' hearts and minds by ruining their lives. No. You know, I do understand the double standard we have had with, like, black youth, though, where it's kind of like, uh, you know, this guy, kid gets strangled to death for selling cigarettes. Be like, yeah, hey, he's a criminal. It's like, God damn it. You know, whereas these kids, honestly, because they're white, are getting chance after chance after chance. But I don't think their lives should be ruined. It's like I feel like we've we've – We've talked enough about it. These kids did what they did. Let's move on. Yeah, well, then, you know, who knows if they're getting chance after chance. But during this situation, like, that's this is, this is the consequences of social media, the fact that you could take a video of someone doing yeah. something incredibly stupid when they're 16 years old. Oh, yeah. And what they did was not even that stupid. All he did was stand there and smirk. And yeah. people wanted him he dead. Was, he, was being a, he was being a shithead, but, like— I, okay, but why I, is he? If he's just standing there and someone comes up to him beating a drum, how are you supposed to react? I feel like the. How do you think you would react? I feel like the kid walked up to the Native no, Americans. Though. Incorrect. Native. Incorrect. Okay. The kid was standing there. The Native American walked up to him huh. beating the drum. Okay. Walked. Got That's right another up to his video. Face. That's not what happened. What do you mean? The, the guy was sta- that kid wasn't in the video while the, the Native American gentleman was standing there pounding his drum, and mm-hmm. there are kids around him, but that kid, that the main kid, wasn't there. He walked. He ended up walking up to him. Yeah. Okay, but with the video that I saw, the kid was standing there, and that guy walked up to him. The, here's the thing. This is two hours. There's, the, 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 there's video of these people that's two hours long. And the video that I saw, those kids were standing there chanting, and that guy walked to those kids and was beating his drum. If that one specific kid yeah, that's all I'm walked down, but still that guy instigated it by walking to them, beating the drum. Not only that, that guy got in that kid's face and beat that drum inches away from his face. But I thought There's that, also see, I'm the only kid, talking about that kid. I thought that kid walked up to the to the Native American uh, guy. I'm not sure. The Native American guy walked up to the whole group of okay. kids. But see, to be fair, of that, I haven't seen all, that, all of that video. The I Native saw American the... guy said that they were saying, build that wall, build that wall. But there's no evidence of that. Okay. The guy, the, the problem is the guy's a human. The yeah. Native American guy's a human, right? Yeah. And he's probably not prepared at all for this kind of scrutiny. No way. And no one is. There's a lot. There, there was an interview that he did with CNN that is just full of holes. Okay. And uh, it doesn't match up to the video. It doesn't match up to what happened. His, like, there's, there's all, you could pull, pull that video, uh, pull that article. Uh, well, the, I'm looking for the video. So, but you try to find that article, the CNN article. Um, there was a, an article about the article. I read. Either way, <laughs> uh, yeah, I'm just I'm just inundated at this point with, with all of it. I will say, like, you know, I've I've said for years, probably 15, 20 years now. I'm so glad YouTube did not exist when I was in high school. Oh my god, because you're just a, you're just a dipshit. Facebook, yeah, Twitter, yep. the things you would say on Twitter, uh-huh. or Snapchat, or any of those things. Yeah, and I mean, I I did not grow up like you know my parents' generation being mildly racist yeah. if you're white you know i i grew up uh pretty woke as the kids say in portland oregon so well you were you in know. chicago chicago's pretty left wing well chicago Liberal. i was i wasn't there until i was born in chicago but i grew up in portland oh that's and then even I was more in, woke. I was, yeah but it was also <laughs> it's funny we had uh we had we had right wing uh, uh nazi groups moving in when i was in high school uh, gangs from LA and then from Central Oregon and and further toward Idaho, you had you had uh, this this guy named Metzger who had like a little little camp you could go and party in. Uh, if you've seen American History X, it was just like that. Like mm. you drink free beer and they'd play punk rock music. And the thing that everyone misses when they look at those groups, be it a gang or a white supremacist skinhead group or whatever, it's 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 a community. For, for people, and yeah. that's where they look at it first. Yeah. And then they, they, they form communities, sadly, over focusing hate, but I just feel like... The kid's back here. Yeah. The, I mean, Which kid? <laughs> so they're all... They walked up to him, banging, their, banging the drums. And that's the kid there. And he's sort standing of, there. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, and there's a kid. walking up to yeah. him now, but like he didn't... Right, but he's just standing there. The guy walked right up to him. You're showing me in the video the guy walking yeah. up to the kid. And there, This I, is exactly what I said, Jamie. He walked right up right. to the kid. My point here was this is the video I saw. I mean, aren't like, these kids all mocking the, the, like the traditional Native American uh, music okay, and rhythms, but though? But, Jamie, that Native American guy just walked up to that kid and got in his face. It's right. as clear as day. This is, I was just bringing up this like this, this angle here. He's standing here. There's a group of kids okay. around him. The kid's You're micromanaging over here. this thing. It doesn't <laughs> make any sense. This is the, the guy, worst Zapruder film. They walked up to the kids. <laughs> right. He right. walked up to the kids. Yes. And he walked up to that kid specifically, got in his face. There was a certain amount of separation between them. He walked to the kid and got in his face while he's beating the drum. I, okay. 
Play it again. I'm Watch. playing it right now. He's yeah. The guy does, so he's walking. He's all walking. The group. Yeah. He's walking, and the kid's standing there. And when the kid's standing there, he walks up to the kid. So here, and they're doing they're the doing tomahawk, tomahawk chop. chop. They think it's funny. Yeah. Like, do they understand that no. people are filming? They don't. So here he goes. It's the whole thing is so strange. So strange. Because what are you supposed to do when someone walks up to you beating a drum? So there's the kid. The kid's standing there. And the Native American guy now walks up to him, completely violating his space. Now imagine if this is a man doing this to a woman. You'd say, okay, he's violating her space 100%. This is fucked up and aggressive. And that's what this guy's doing. He's singing in this kid's face. It's a little kid. And what is the kid supposed to do? I don't know. Should he walk away? Yeah. Should he say, I'm sorry that someone in the past stole your ancestors' land? What is he supposed to do? Yeah. I mean, it's I'm, no, I'm not saying yes, do that. You know, I'm saying what is the – like, the question is what does a kid do? But, I mean, these – it's just – he's – I get why this guy's approaching because it's just a – it's a river of people mocking him right. and, and his culture. I get you know? it, but why this one kid? And why why get right in this guy's face where you're beating a drum inches from this kid's face? Yeah, that is a question. And, well, look, it's the fucking hat, man. That goddamn polarizing stupid hat. I hate that hat so much. Look, he's even closer to him. He's put the drum off to the side so he can get closer to this kid's face. I mean, is he expecting the kid to walk away? I don't know. But the kid doesn't do anything. But still, he's blinking because the, the beating of the drum is so close to his eyes. It's weird. Yeah. The whole thing is very weird. It's so weird. He's staring that kid down. So what was, I mean, I, why wouldn't he walk away? Just to defy why would him? He? Why, why would I don't he? know. Everyone else walked away. But what does he have to? Doesn't have to. I mean, to. he's standing there, and the guy decides to get in his face. Do you I, think you would walk away? Probably. Maybe. If someone walked because yeah. the, the camera, yeah, that, the if that camera guy walked up uh, on me, I would I would definitely move. I think I would probably move too because I would be oh. scared. If that guy got in my face like that, I think that guy was going to hit me. I would yeah. think something is going to go wrong. Mm -hmm. I'm like, this is this is just too weird. I, 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 I yeah, think but it's not away. the kids. He's 16, man. Yeah, I, I, it's the, the, a grown up's fault for getting in a 16 year old kid's face beating a drum. Yeah, I look, and, I, and I, it's. It's just that, that fucking hat, man. I yeah, mean, but it's also the he the the Native American man rightly felt like he was being mocked. Yeah, and that his traditions and his his, his heritage yeah. is being mocked and, and, by these little kids. Yeah, I mean, I don't think he had the right to walk up on the kid like that. But it's like, where where is your breaking point? Well, wait a minute. I don't think he doesn't have the right. But this is where confrontation comes from. Do you yeah. have the right to make confrontation? Yeah, maybe, perhaps. Maybe, perhaps. But that's not really the best way to communicate. You're no. singing a song, a Native American song, and he doesn't know what the fuck you're singing. Right. And you're doing it inches from his face. Yeah. And everyone's felt it's a, it's a really a sign of the times that it's, people took clips of that and they made it out like this little kid's a cunt. And even Reza Aslan had on his. Have you ever seen a more punchable face? Like, man, that's you're you're calling for violence on a kid. Is that what yeah, you're doing? Yeah, it, it's 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 the same uh, you know level of and again, you know, those kids like even when you were pulling that clip up, I could feel my stomach make a fist. I'm like, oh, this just I don't want to see this, but you know, uh, like it. It's like that dude that 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 Sorry. his that that kid at the Cub game who had the game in his in his earphones and he caught the ball, which the outfielder was definitely not going to catch anyway, and they blamed him for the Cubs' loss of the series and they mm. had to escort that kid out. Yeah, and I thought the kid reached forward though. He did, but I if you look at the tape, I don't think that the outfielder had it. The outfielder was pointing like you fucked up, kid, like you ruined it, and it was kind of this. Well, I understand when you're playing major league ball, one mistake can mean the end of your career and your family. I don't know, out man. When I saw, I think that's different. When I saw that, I thought that kid fucked up the game. That it, it it could be argued, yes. Do you know what I'm talking Absolutely. about? Absolutely, yeah, yeah. But that's like you're saying it's blaming one tiny play on the entire game, and, and, it's, and, and you and, can't do that. And the fact the fact that back to what your point of punch the kid in the face, that kid had to be escorted out of Wrigley Field because right. people were going to kill him. Right, like well, there they, were drunk people that were going to throw hit that kid into traffic. Can we see that video? Of the guy yeah, catching yeah, that ball? Yeah, please pull that up. I think that kid actually did fuck up that game. I think the difference is that kid l reached into the playing field. What he did was definitely wrong yeah. and, and legal and, let's see and everything. But yeah, let's check it out. Tail the tape. Steve Barton Crack. There's the ball. It's going. It's going. It's going. Wait a minute. Let me see. One more time. Back that up. Back that up. No, no, no. But just back it up. Oh, he's going to start slow. Okay. Oh. I'm 
mean, I I think I take it back. Yeah. I had I had uh uh I think Hey, one more time. I think I remembered it wrong. Oh yeah, they stole it from they him. They stole it from him. Fuck, I, I take it, it all back. He had the ball. I take it all back. That kid fucked it up. Yeah. They literally did. He took it. He literally yeah. took it from him in the playing field. Ah, you little cunt. <laughs> oh. <laughs> He's got yeah. spray on him. People probably threw beers on him. Probably. Yeah. But yeah. but but it was, the other it, thing. it was the thing of like threatening a kid's life. That's crazy. Yeah. But also, it's like if you're a kid and the ball's right there, yeah. you're going to reach right. for it. You're not going to be thinking this guy's going to catch or not going to catch. Yeah. It's like you have the chance to catch the ball 